Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can transfer files to your EC2 instance. It might be running Windows or Linux. Uh, we will be transferring the file using the secure copy protocol, SCP or the SFTP protocol. And we can do that with just your PEM key or the PPK file. So the type of key will depend upon the tool that you are using. Either it is a WinSCP or FileZilla or any of the other tools. In this demo, I am going to use WinSCP. I've already downloaded and installed it. So here I am in the WinSCP folder and you have seen that I have already created a keys folder and I have moved my private key to this folder. And WinSCP expects the key to be in PPK format. So I'm going to use PuttyGen to convert the PEM key into the PPK key. So let me go ahead and choose the file here and then click on open and it is asking me to convert it yes i'm going to say that yes save my private key go ahead and say yes and i'm going to say private key and let it be as it is that should we do it now let me go back to my ec2 dashboard so that we can get our public ip address to connect our instance here we are in my ec2 dashboard and you can see here that there's a production app server running and it has an IP address of 13. Dot, um, the four octets are there. Let us go ahead and see how to connect to this instance using WinSCP. So let me go back from PuttyGen to my WinSCP folder. Let us go ahead and open it. And it will have a prompt for your host name. I'm going to put in the IP address here. And then I'm going to choose the file protocol to SCP. And we all know that uh, EC2 user is the default one for all Linux uh, Red Hat instances and Amazon Linux. So in place of private key, I'm going to choose my private key that is the PPK format and click on login. So it is going to authenticate with my private key and it's asking me to accept the host key. I'm going to click S yes, and it should be getting me connected to the session any minute now. So there we go. We have connected to our uh, server and I'm just navigating to the certain files that I want to copy to my server. So what I'm going to do is to avoid permission issues, I'm going to copy certain files to my temp directory and then later move it to my necessary uh, destination. So I'm, I've navigated to my temp directory. I'm going to click on uh, create. I'm just going to uh, uh, create a new uh, file directory here. Here, there we go. So I'm going to say remote files. I'm going to click on OK. Open it. And then I'm just going to select a few files so that I can drag and drop them here. So as you can see here at the bottom, all the files are queued and slowly all the files will get transferred to my server. So meanwhile, I'm going to head over to my uh, PuTTY terminal or uh, any other terminal that you're using and I'm going to navigate to the remote files and see if the files have been successfully copied. So already we can see that two of those files are copied. Let us go over to my terminal and check it out. So we have put it under temp. So let us go to temp now. Under temp, we created a file called remote files. So let me go to remote files. And if I do LSF and hell, you can see here all these files we are just now copied into my server. So that is how you use SCP or SFTP uh, to your Linux instance. You can do the same thing to your Windows instance. Also, WinSCP is a tool which allows you to connect to both Linux and Windows machines using the IP address and just the host keys. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. If you like my videos, subscribe to them.